Hey there, welcome to a brand new episode of Music Express. My name is Twan and in this week's vlog you will see my interview with Dark Lerner aka DJ Dark about the Dance to Trans classic We Came in Peace. But before we start with the interview, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and very important, also make sure to click the bell button because then you will get a notification the next time a new vlog is online. Alright, here it is, the story behind We Came in Peace by Dance to Trans, my interview with DJ Dark. Enjoy! Dark Lerner, aka DJ Dark, is a well-known name in the trance and techno scene for many years already. He started with DJing in the year 1985 and during the years he did play in several legendary German clubs such as Dorian Gray, The Omen, Cocoon and many others. In 1990, Dark started a project together with Rolf Elmer, aka Jam Elmar, Dance to Trends. That project was very successful and they released tracks such as Power of American Natives, Warrior, Hello San Francisco, Take a Free Fall and We Came in Peace. For this week's vlog I sat down with Dark to ask him about the story behind We Came in Peace, which was the B-side of the very first ever Dance to Trends release. My first question to him was around what age he started to listen to music. I listened to the first time it was as a child. Called, uh, was it was a guy called Heintje. Oh, Heintje. Yeah, yeah, you know him. Yeah, yeah. Mama. Yeah, yeah, uh, like a bit like Slager, something. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 And uh, which, which other bands or artists did you listen to back then? Later on, I. Um, was starting to rock music. Yeah. No, especially Santana, the early Santana, the love. Yeah, and, and I was, uh, when I was 10 or so, I was at the World Woodstock movie. Oh, yeah. And, and then this Santana, yeah, yeah. dick there, soul sacrifice, this is trans, so two words. Yeah. This fascinates me. Yeah. yeah. And I see a Jimmy Hendrix poster behind you. Did you yeah. also listen to that? I like this old stuff. Yeah. Great 60s stuff. Yeah. Um, do you still remember the very first uh, ever record you bought yourself? I think, I, I don't know what kind of 7 inch, but uh, the first album I bought by myself was the Easy Rider soundtrack. Oh yeah, Easy Rider. Yeah. yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, nice one. Yeah, for this interview we're going to talk about uh, We Came in Peace, a, a track you did back in the year 1990 together with Rolf Elmer aka Jam Elmar under the project name Dance to Trans. Uh, first things first, how did you and Rolf get to meet? It starts with, they, they, they had plans for a, a dance a musical at this time, they had also hip hop and, and all kinds of stuff. And I think our management, Matthias Krein, they brought us together. Yeah, yeah. And um, we, I, I remember we started with a track. I don't know if, if we finished it, but then they cancelled everything. I don't know why. It happened. And then we said, okay, we are together now here and let's start uh, our own project. Yeah, yeah. So what, what do you remember from the day you guys started to work all that we came in peace? I remember uh, Wolf brought uh, a record with the voice on it, we came in peace, and we started, uh, and I remember we had, we started with, with two master keyboards, and everybody is playing something, that was, uh, this was really good, and they never did it again after this. Yes, yeah. 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 So uh, how did you guys with start like with, with the track, so Rolf had the vocal sample already? Yeah. And um, what, what can you tell where the sample comes from? That's uh, the voice. Armstrong, it's from. Yeah. The, yeah. yeah, Neil Armstrong. Yeah. Yes, yes. Um, so, do you remember what kind of equipment was used for the piece? Yeah, so a long time ago. So, what else do you remember from the production process? Well, was it a difficult track to make? No, it was really easy. Yeah. yeah really easy. Yeah. yeah. So, how long did it take you guys to finish the track? Two days. Two days. Yeah. yeah that's, that's not too bad. Yeah. Um, so, who was the first person besides the two of you to hear the track once it was finished? It's, uh, I, I remember I, I was with a friend in his car. He has a nice sound system and we listened to it. And this was the first time. Yeah. And he, he liked it? 
he liked it, yeah. sure. Yeah. That's good. yeah, everybody liked it, track. So I guess it was not difficult to find the label for the track? No, not. So that was done very yeah. quickly. Yeah. So yeah, we came in pieces. Actually, the B-side of the very first ever Dance to Trance release. Uh, the A-side contains a track with the title Dance to Trance. Uh, did you guys have a name for the project already when the track was finished? I when I played my music and I, I figured out that it's like the, like the Indians do with this monotone drums, mm-hmm. uh, and it's like a techno with a, with a monotone bass drum. Mm-hmm. And they put themselves in in in, in, tra- in trance, yeah, just with monotone drums. And so I say, hey, it's similar to my music, and I, I call it trance now. Yeah. So I gave the child the name. Yeah. And um, and then I, I I came with the idea to to Rolf, and and I I said, okay, well, let's call it, to, to this project call it trance dance or something. Mm-hmm. Uh, and Rolf said. Yeah, dance trend. And Ross said, okay, let's, let's put the two in dance two trend. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, so it, it looks cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hunter Knight was born. Yeah, so was this also your very first ever release? No, Hunter Yo in 89 was my first release. Yeah. Well, what kind of genre was that? It's my style. Yeah, yeah. So that's not really like a, like a typical genre. Some, they called it, at this time, they called it New Beat or so. Uh, yeah. yeah. But, but I didn't know what. So it was 1989, he said? 1989, yeah. 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 Oh, nice. So yeah, what did happen after the release of We Came In Peace? Did the track become a success straight away? Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you, you were already DJing back then, I guess? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so you, it, you played it like a lot. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and so, and we did the, the other track, Dance to Trance, but I was not really happy with it yeah uh, and um, the management said oh, yeah, let's take this it's more commercial whatever this means and and so they put we came in peace on the b-side and i, I told them hey the people is freaking out on let's make uh, we came in peace on the a-side mm-hmm. and they, uh, but they didn't listen to you <laughs> and they don't listen yeah. but yeah so yeah, uh, it's funny because during the years the track has been re-released a few times. Uh, besides the original 1990 version, you guys did a new version in 1991. And also in 1993 we came in peace, I got a new remix. Uh, can you tell why the track got re-released several times in just a few years time? I don't know, maybe, maybe the people ask for it yeah. or so. Yeah. And do you have a favorite version yourself? Yeah, or original. Or like the 1990 version. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Do you still play that in your sets sometimes? Sometimes at classics events, yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. So yeah, when you look back, what is the favorite memory you have when it comes to the release of We Came In A Piece? I think when I played it the first time as a Dorian Gray. Yeah. yeah. And when we, when we produced it, and I had the Dorian Gray in my mind. Mm-hmm. And so it's made for for this club. Yeah. yeah, it's a legendary club, and I think it was in the was it in the basement of the the airport of Frankfurt. Yeah, yeah. So what else can you tell about the Dorian Gray for the people that don't know it? Yeah, that's hard to explain. It's it opened in, in 1978, and it was like a club, like a Studio 54 mm-hmm. style, which had long made everything in there, speakers and sound system and. Mixer, he did everything by himself, mm-hmm. and, uh, and that's the original, the original mixer. Mixer from from the club. The club they, they gave it to me on um, my when, uh, my thirtieth birthday. Oh, right. yeah, yeah, that's a nice gift. Yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, you, we just mentioned Dorian Gray already. Uh, you also played in lots of other famous clubs. I think you also played in uh, Das Omen. Can, 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 can you tell a bit about how your DJ career started? I, I was making uh, tapes at home. I had two cheap turntables, no pitch control, and, and uh, a cheap mixer. And I made tapes and gave these tapes to to my friends. Yeah, and, and after a while, I said, hey, it's nice tapes. Can I have another one? And so and more and more. Um, and then I thought, okay, now, now I want to play at, at the club. Yeah, I want to see people dance on my music. And yeah. Do you remember still your very first gig in the club? The first thing was I was um, I was in a, a, a really tiny club in Frankfurt 
called Uyuno and um, more shiki miki a little bit, a lot, lot of models and, and stuff. And I know the uh, one guy there, Geschäftsführer, was it called? Um, manager? Yeah, manager. And um, when I asked him, I brought a tape from home and said, hey, Rolf, how? If you are looking for a DJ or so, yeah, you never played before. No? Yeah, everybody has to start somehow. Uh, and um, I said, oh, yeah, I have a tape. I want to give it to you. A tape. I can make it home by myself. Yeah, it's just because what kind of music I play. Maybe one, one DJ get sick or anything and, and you need to you can call me and I said no come take your tape and not in the rest this is what's a club about maybe 80 people or 100 people in there in the same night a girl came to me she worked at the musical and the musical was for 2,000 people and uh, and then she came to me Doug you have a tape with you they are looking for a DJ for, for Mondays. I got the same tape, gave it to her. <laughs> and then, yeah, and then they invited me, went at the office and, and talked to me. And um, then I started on Monday. Yeah. Oh, that's not. It was the most empty day because Michael Münzing, he, he was playing every day. Yeah, one of the guys from Snap. Yeah, he was playing every day. And, and then I said, hey, I need a day off. And so what's written then? Take Monday. Yeah. And so I started there. It's maybe in this huge club, 150 people. And, and after a while, I got almost 500. Yeah. yeah. So the, the management was happy. They were happy so far, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And I think it was 1985. 1985. Yeah, so yeah, you've been a DJ for like a very long time already. So what, what is the craziest thing that ever happened during a gig? Pardon? What is the craziest thing or the, like a funny thing that ever happened during a gig? The craziest thing I, I tell you is always when I play for the ultra Ultras from Frankfurt, mm-hmm. uh, f- f- from the football club, when they have their uh, anniversary, I play there every five years. Mm-hmm. And that's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. They like to party. Dance with, with flags and, and flares. And, yeah. yeah. Ah, that's nice. Yeah. So yeah, uh, last year you were involved in, a, in an accident uh, with your motorbike, uh, which resulted in the fact that you couldn't uh, deer for a few months. So how are you doing now? Are you fully recovered? Not fully. Yeah. But I, I, I can walk. Yeah. No stick or anything. Yeah. And, um, but it's, it's a long pro. Progress. Yeah, yeah. Because I, you started DJing like uh, a few weeks ago. I think it was your first gig, or last week? Uh, uh, last week. Yeah, yeah. We at Koblenz. It was for two hours. And yesterday I played in Mainz. This was three hours. And uh, next weekend I play at uh, at my resident club, the Freud Frankfurt's third club in the moment in Frankfurt. I play there every every month. Normally I play eight to nine hours, but this time I think four, yeah, four hours, yeah. maybe five hours. Yeah, it's still difficult to stand that for for such a long time. Yeah. So yeah, what what did happen exactly with your accident? It was on your motorbike. Yeah, that was a construction, and they had the wrong signs on it. They had a thirty kilometer signs, and norm. and then I came there with maybe forty or fifty, and uh, and they they. they they the, the took the, the pavement off of the road, maybe 10 meters and one and a half meter, and this deep. And I was too far on the right and yeah. came on the edge of the. And then. Yeah. Arm. Um, yeah. Yeah, that, that, that was not good. No. Yeah. Hot. So that was in September, you said? Yeah. September 2023? Yeah. I think you said it was 1911. Nine, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah, um, do you have a busy summer line, like with DJ gigs coming up? Pardon for for this summer. Do you have a busy schedule with? Yeah, 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 yeah. Any big uh, festivals? Yeah, yeah. I don't play that much on on festivals. That's your one. It's the only the big festival. Yeah, and the rest is just like in clubs. No, also a smaller festival. Yeah, like yeah. Uh, Tanzer and Bessel. Yeah, ah, nice. So yeah, what kind of music do you listen to in your spare time? 
At uh, my time when I was at home, mm -hmm. I was listening a lot to uh, Spotify. You know, and uh, there's an, a lot of nice stuff out in the moment. Yeah. Melodic, nice stuff. You know, like Decker and uh, Charlie Cunningham. And um, yeah, and, and I was. Yeah, that, that made you call. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, good. No, but no, uh, not the electrical music. No, because you had it in the weekend all the time already. Yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. It has to be dark outside <laughs> for the actual music. Yeah, yeah, true. Yeah. yeah. And the last question: pineapple on pizza? Yes or no? Doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, it doesn't matter. Okay. Well, thank you very much for your time and good luck with everything. Welcome. All right, that was it. This week's rock: my interview with DJ Dark and the story behind "We Came in Peace" by Dance to Trance. Dark, thanks a lot for your time. Much appreciated. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed the vlog. If you did, make sure to give this video a like, leave a comment in the comment section below and very important, make sure to subscribe. Also make sure to click the bell button because then you will get a notification the next time a new vlog is online. And I did a second interview with Dark and in that one we're gonna talk about Take a Free Fall which is another classic by Dance to Trance and that interview will be online in a couple of weeks so stay tuned. Once again, thanks for watching and until next time, bye bye.